Today's video is going to be a bit different. It's a guide on how to beat the Lich King with all nine classes using relatively cheap decks. They run no legendaries or wild cards and cost a total of around 2000 dust. This video is made in collaboration with Pro Guides. They just opened their new Hearthstone section featuring strategy guides and tons of other video content to teach you how to become a better Hearthstone player. Click the link in the description to try it out for seven days, completely free of charge. First up is the Priest Fight. The entire deck is about 2000 dust, but if you are on a budget, you can't cut the Shadow Visions, which are not 100% necessary, but they do make the fight quite a bit easier. A card that you do need, however, is Shadow World Horror, since that completely destroys the Lich King's turn seven board and allows you to go face again. Apart from that, this is just a good old Divine Spirit in Fire deck. Silence a Yamongous Razor Leaf, buff him with two Divine Spirits, add an Inner Fire, and then smack him in the face two times. If you manage to get a third Divine Spirit from the Shadow Visions, you can just kill him in one hit for 64 damage. All in all, it's one of the easiest fights in my opinion. The Paladin fights is one of the harder ones. All your dead minions will respawn on the Lich King's board. For this fight, we're running a Murloc Paladin. The deck is a bit more expensive since it runs both two War Leaders and two Gentle Megasaurs. Do you want to start off the fight with a turn 1 Tynafin into turn 2 Rockfolk Hunter? Then just keep on making efficient trades to keep your minions alive and finish the Lich King off by buffing your board with a Gentle Megasaur or a War Leader. In case the game drags on to turn 7, there's also an Equality Consecration combo to finish off the opponent's board and allow you to go face again. For Mage, we are running a Molten Giant setup. There's also the possibility for a turn 1 Cabal Lackey into a Mana Bind to set the Lich King's help to 1 if you're having some issues with the fight. I recommend just hard mulliganing for the Molten Giant to drop at least one of them on turn two, then just keep the board clear so he can't kill you and smack face whenever you can. If you manage to get both Molten Giants on turn two, the fight should be extremely easy. The Rogue deck is quite similar to the Paladin one, but the fight's a bit easier. The deck contains 10 spells to thin out the deck after the Lich King destroys all your spells on turn one. If you start with the Tiny Fin into Rockpool Hunter, the fight should be quite easy. Apart from that, there's not much to it, but you want to kill the Lich King before he reaches turn 7 and you're forced to trade with his board. In Hunter, we are running quite a few minions to allow us to play two Molten Giants on turn 2. Apart from that, we also have both Vicious Fledgling and a Scavenging Hyena that you want to keep alive. The game plan is pretty simple, keep the board clear to make sure the Lich King can't kill you and then just smack face. The Warlock one is the most expensive deck, but it can still be quite easily done, even if you don't have the Molten Giants. For this deck, you want to drop a Molten Giant on turn 2 to keep the board clear, and then swarm the board with Murlocs. If you have a full deck with Murlocs and Molten Giants, the fight is extremely easy. The Shaman fight is once again Murlocs, and it's one of the hardest fights. You need to play a turn 1 Tiny Fin before the Lich King turns all your cards into 1 1s. Then you buff him with Rockpool Hunter so that he can trade and survive with most of the minions that the Lich King will play. Now you just want to swarm the board with Murlocs and use War Leaders and Grimscale Oracles to buff them. If you don't manage to kill the Lich King before turn 7, you have the Deavold Lightning Storm combo to get through to face again. The Drew deck is very cheap and only runs 16 proper cards. You want to mulligan for anything that's not a 1 to 3 mana cost minion, since they will be destroyed and allow you to draw the rest of your cards faster. The idea is to ramp up to 8 mana and then play an Auctioneer and cycle Innervates and Moonfires into Jade Idols. You have both Swipe and Spreading Plague to keep you alive. Then you swarm the board with Jades and finish off your opponent. We managed to beat the Lich King using a warrior deck that only costs 720 dust. However, the fight is quite hard, so if you have some bigger legendaries, I'd recommend replacing both War Golems and Core Hounds with them. For this deck to work properly, 
you need a turn two stubborn gastropod into turn three alarmabot that pulls one of the big minions in your hand on the board. Then you keep dropping the alarmabot to fill your board with big minions. Once you reach turn 10, you want to drop a seven drop along with the alarmabot to maximize the amount of power you get on the board each turn. The fight is still quite hard, so you need to trade efficiently and smack face as often as you can. That's it for this video. Hopefully this was helpful in defeating the Lich King and unlocking that Arthur skin. Also, a big thanks to Pro Guides for sponsoring this video. Sponsors like this allow me to focus more time to YouTube so I can upload videos more frequently. So if you're interested, please check out the link in the description.